Welcome back, Truth Seeker. Saturday, March 2nd, 2019. No sign that the racially charged headlines are going to stop, even now that we're out of Black History Month. Yesterday, the headlines full of divisive stories. Same with day, March 2nd. We have police officers acquitted of killing a young black man in the Sacramento area. Today, there's protests over this. I'm going to talk about that. We have John Wayne, an old interview from 1971 in Playboy brought up today. Now, a protest about having his name removed from an airport over these remarks from 48 years ago. Why he favored white supremacy in some regards. And in Detroit, the city on the 42nd parallel, we have a story about a black man taking over a neo-Nazi organization. So let's look at these stories real quick. Today, March 2nd, 2019, the day these officers are acquitted for shooting this unarmed man. It's a date with 44 numerology. Of course, shooting equals 44. So does officer. There's now a protest in Sacramento because of these officers being acquitted. With the alphabetic order, shooting an officer of 44, when you flip the alphabetic order around, shooting an officer of 37, Sacramento is also 37. This young man was shot March 18th, 2018, reportedly. That was the 77th day of the year. Police officer equals 77, police department equals 77. Last year, we talked about the theme of 18, the word race equals 18. It was 2018, a shooting on the 18th. Today happens to be the 61st day of the year, March 2nd, which is the 18th prime number. Also, the day he was shot was a date with 59 numerology. 59 numerology. Again, 59 is the 17th prime number. The word kill has gematria 59 and 17. Negro, slave, blues, rasta, they all sum to 59. This number stamped all over black history. Of course, black history month ends on the 59th day of the year. The day of this decision, March 2nd, 2019, is a date with 17 numerology. Again, 59 is the 17th prime. Killed on a date with 59 numerology, reportedly. Now, on a date with 17 numerology, we get the decision. The word Negro does also have a gematria 32. Today's March 2nd can be written 3 slash 2. The word protest has gematria 32. We get this protest. In case you're new here, just want to remind you about something. The way these ciphers work, Negro with the alphabetic order 59, Negro with the alphabetic order and rules numerology 32, Negro with the reverse alphabetic order 76, Negro with the reverse alphabetic order and rules numerology 76, Notice protest has the 76 as well. Think about the Million Man March, which was on the day leaving 76 days left in the year. Again, this is why you want to know all the ciphers so that you can see clearly how these riddles are orchestrated. He was 22 years old when he was shot. Let me put Negro back up here. You see? He was 22. Killed on a date with 59 numerology. Now you get the decision on March 2nd. You know? You get a protest. And don't forget, this year, 2019, is 400 years, which relates to Acts 7 6, the 400 year prophecy. Um, those are the main details in that story. Let's look at this story out of Detroit. Again, Detroit, that's where Motown Records was established in 59 on the 42nd parallel. We often see 59 and 42 coming together. Real quick, before we get into this story, the young man who was shot, who the police officers were acquitted of killing, notice Stefan Clark with the alphabetic order is 142. When you write out 42, it equals 142. Think about the nation's first black president, President Obama, 142. So anyhow, this is in the headlines today, March 2nd about a black man taking over a neo-Nazi group in Detroit. He wants to destroy the group. Here's what it says. Call it a clever twist of fate, a shrewd power player simply 
a word I cannot pronounce, <laughs> for one of the largest neo-Nazi groups in America. Its new president is a black man, a California pastor and activist with one goal in mind. Change it, reverse it, and ultimately destroy it, James Hart Stern told CNN in an interview Friday. Stern says the former president of the Detroit-based National Socialist Movement, Jeff Shupp, turned the group over to him amid infighting by the group's core members. And to escape the threat of a lawsuit filed against the NSM for its alleged role in the violent 2017 clashes in Charlottesville, Virginia. So notice his name's James Stern. James Stern. And the man who handed over the group, interestingly enough, has Gematria 42, like how Detroit's on the 42nd parallel. And the surname of this man, Stern, notice the overlap with Negro, has all the same values, 76, 59, 22, 32. Again, Stern and Negro have the overlap, 76 and 59. This story comes today, March 2nd, 2019, a date with 44 numerology. It's related to Detroit. Detroit equals 44. Again, Acts is the 44th book of the Bible. Acts 7, 6. The prophecy of 400 years. Story today. And 44, this is an important number to black history. African American in the septenary cipher equals 44. Obama was number 44, elected 44 years after the Civil Rights Act. MLK was killed on April 4th. Malcolm X was killed on a date with 44 numerology. His assassin, Thomas Hagen, got 44 years in prison. Thomas Hagen equals 44 in Gematria. You have the Syracuse great running backs all wearing the number 44. This story in the news on the 61st day of the year. 61, the 18th prime race. 18. And, you know, again, you have the John Wayne story as well. I'll show you what's interesting about this John Wayne story. From the news to his upcoming anniversary of his death is 102 days. Words such as slavery and the N-word have the gematria of 102. The American Civil War began on the 102nd day of the year. They're saying there's now an outrage about this interview coming back to light. Outrage is also 102. And it sparked a debate about should the airport remove his name. John Wayne, 43, airport, 43, Civil War, 43. Big number in the history of the Civil War. Don't forget Obama from the land of Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln. And um, Obama, he was number 44, but he was only the 43rd person to be president. But anyway, the point is they're bringing up these news stories again because they contribute to the media's ongoing agenda to keep people worked up and thinking about race and divided amongst race and fighting over these narratives and arguing about these narratives. And, you know, anytime these... No Arguments and discussions come up, they're going to oftentimes leave some people with a foul taste in their mouth and, you know, angry and lashing out at others. The other thing is they're saying in the interview, he said something about how he prefers um, the white supremacist point of view until blacks become more educated. There's some sentence like that. So that's what CNN was focused on. Saw them talking about this this morning on the news. White supremacist has the gematria of 97, also like airport. And they're saying, you know, should they remove his name from the airport over these remarks? Also, something else that CNN had up this past week for a number of days was this story. Artificial intelligence. These people do not exist. And when you look at the images, they look as real as anybody else you see in the media. Stories, these people do not exist. Why websites are churning out fake images of people and cats. And for years, we've pointed this out, that a lot of these stories are contrived by the numbers. And at this day and age, there's technology to create lifelike people. 
So just remember, in some of these news stories, they could be entirely contrived, entirely false, entirely made up just to work up the populace. And um, something to keep in mind. So we'll leave it there for now, Truth Seeker. Until next time.